Hi everybody, welcome back to my series about planning on a budget. Um, this is going to be for the week of July 10th through July 16th and this is my recollections planner which is much much cheaper than the Erin Condren planner but still a very similar format. Today we are going to be using a kit from Beyond Paper Flowers. This is a two-page kit. It has the full boxes in this like pink lemonade kind of theme and then we have eight half boxes eight check flags um, four colors of glitter headers and a weekend banner um, now I'm going to show you the kit kind of as it is with just this stuff in the planner and then I'm going to bring in other things at the end to kind of fill it out so you can see what it would be like if you only had this two page kit um, and then what it would be like if you had you know some more stickers to kind of fill things out because if you have leftovers from other kits obviously you can bring them into whatever spread you want <laughs> um i forget how much this kit was i think it was only like five or six dollars um but i will leave the shop and if i can a link to this exact kit below um and again this is my budget planning <laughs> um so that you can still use stickers and still have a beautiful spread but with a much more affordable price point um, this is a week where I will have already been on vacation I'm pre filming this um, and I may be seeing my brother the 12th through the 14th but we don't know for sure yet at this point in time I have a bill due on the 11th and I might be seeing one of my friends from college over the weekend and then I also have a bill due on Sunday um, so I have a couple things to mark, but not a crazy busy week because I will still be on vacation. <laughs> um, I have these two, the fresh and juicy um, kind of quote boxes, but I think I might actually use those in the spread and maybe put this one up in the corner. Um, so I'm just going to kind of pick. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys. I have washi now. Washi comes in all different price points. Um, you can get a lot of things. I think like this green one I got at the Target dollar spot and maybe this pink one. Um, or you can spend, you know, $4 a roll for something like a Simply Gilded Washi. Um, however, because this doesn't have any bottom washi, I think having washi will really bring out the spread. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to use yet. So these are the things that I had pre-picked out. Um, the pink and yellow are from Simply Gilded. One has gold and one has silver, so I probably won't use both. I'll kind of decide that. And then I have these like checks, like check buffalo, I don't know, check patterns. And then they, they remind me of picnics in summer. And then this darker green to kind of ground it a little bit. So we'll see about those at the end. I'm not going to put my bottom washi in yet. full boxes for the first half and the second half. That's kind of fun. Okay, so that was this whole first sheet and now I still have all of this left to use so we will kind of plan that out and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and I think I have a game plan. So I was going to do kind of like random colors like maybe a diagonal pattern or something with the glitter headers but there's only six of each color so you can't do that because you'd need seven for the days of the week obviously so they're kind of meant for like a whole day and after i put one set down i think that's actually a good idea it kind of grounds the spread um so i'm going to do all three of the same color on the same day but Thank you. 
Did you guys have a good 4th of July? What did you guys do? Um, I hope it was fun. If you're not in America, tell me what you guys do in your country for like a country celebration. <laughs> um, like something that's patriotic for your own country. I would be very curious to know. I know there's Canada Day, but I don't know if that's like 4th of July, like if it's an independence type thing or if it's just a celebration. <laughs> um, I'm really not sure. I know that it's on July 1st, but feel free to tell me more about it if you are Canadian. Actually, that'd be a good question, too. Where are you guys from? Let me know in the description box down below. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And hit subscribe. Okay. Oh, I need checklists. <laughs> I kind of got off track. Okay. So sheet of stickers and I put that last half box over here and then I also put my bottom washi down. So I chose the yellow simply gilded washi with the like iridescent bows and this like pink check pattern um, that reminds me of like picnics and summer. <laughs> um, so I put the yellow at the very 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 bottom and I lined up the pink washi at that top line so there's white space here and there's an itty bitty tiny bit of white space between the two washies. So I thought that was super cute. I love bringing in more yellow and pink. I really thought about bringing in some green, um, the dark green. And actually, I probably still could, so if I feel it, I could probably put a third washi up at that top part. So we'll see how I feel at the end. Um, the other thing I did was I made a couple flags with some of the washi. So this is one of my other washies I had. Um, and you just cut a piece, fold it so that the sticky part is out cut a little diagonal and then you make a flag so because this kit didn't come with any flags um you can definitely make flags like that and i also did that over here with my weekend banner um the hello weekend was from a mommy sticker book but the like background with all the little flags was um by doing that trick so you can do that for weekend banners if you didn't have one of those either um so this is everything that the kit comes with. There are two lonely little glitter headers left, which I will probably use, which is why I haven't put them down. What I would have done is probably put one above this box and below this box or, um, yeah, that's actually probably what I would have done. Um, and then I would have had kind of this pink space, um, or you could put a header over that actually. And then you kind of have some space to write. And you know, it looks actually pretty full. It's a pretty full kit um, for just being two pages and then adding some washi in. However, I like a much more functional sidebar. So I'm going to add some stickers in. And I pulled a variety of things out of my collection. So let's see what I grabbed. I grabbed a to-do list. This was left over from Sweet Kawaii Design. I have two weekly trackers from Caress Press and one from Planner Gems because I didn't really know what would match. Um, I have a bunch of pink flags from Sweet Kawaii Design as well as some icons and these icons. This was all from like a set. Her kits are huge. Um, I have a Hey Hey It's Payday but... I don't need that. I also have a birthday and a bill due. Oh, I was going to use the bill due, I think. Um, so I was like, these other ones don't match. <laughs> I think I was going to use the bill due. And then 
um, that was from Creating & Co. And then I have some icons that would match from Creating & Co. as well. That was from the Beauty and the Beast kit. And then I have some random little glam planner icons. I thought the green ones might match or the pink ones. And then the rest of these are from Coffee Monsters Co. This was from her um, like one in a million, one in a melon <laughs> kind of kit from last year. And it had some of these brighter greens and even some pink. There's some peach in here too, um, but some of those brighter colors that don't really match anything else to be honest um, go with this kit. So like I said, just sort of random random extra things that you know would not be part of the kit but most people have some stickers left over from somewhere um so we're gonna fill out the rest of the spread using these things so i'm gonna start with the buildy before i forget what i was doing with this <laughs> and um let's see i have the 11th i'm gonna put it on the 15th because the glam planner on the 11th is more of like a choice. <laughs> um, whereas this is my car insurance. And a little bit higher priority, I guess, than my glam planner subscription. <laughs> so we're gonna put that down at the bottom of the full box. I don't feel bad covering that up because it's kind of the same pattern throughout. And then I typically use at least one weekly tracker. Um, I definitely like this pink better, so we're gonna use this one. Try to get this down right along that edge. <laughs> um, I do have a little bit of pink sticking out right there, but we'll deal with that. And then let's see, I had a to-do list on here, so... I think I might put that down here as well. It's going to cover the washi, but I didn't know if it would cover, like, if my sidebar would cover the washi or not. So I figured I would just make it go all the way across, just in case it didn't, because it would fill up the space. I can't see where that edge is. Okay. Okay. So we just have the very, very tips of those bows left over. And actually, I might put a glitter header down there to cover that up because it looks a little funny to me. This will kind of set the sidebar apart. Okay. Oh, that looks perfect. So ends with a glitter header. And this starts with a nice, clean bow. Um, now, do I want that last glitter header up there? I think I will. Because let's just use every single piece of this kit. I don't know that I've ever done that before. But when it's two pages, obviously, it's a lot easier than, like, a six-page kit. <laughs> um, perfect. I would have maybe preferred that in between the two pinks, but... It's too late now because that's glossy. <laughs> um, okay, so I used up one of those from Sweet Quiet Design and one from Planner Gems. So I just have fewer stickers left there, which is awesome. Let's see, I have some money signs and some flags. So maybe I'll take a flag on the 11th for my glam planner um, mystery kit. Couldn't think of a name. So we'll put that there. And it is kind of like a bill. We'll put the money stock and then I can write glam planner or GP. And then my bill on the 15th can get a little stuck as well. And then I can write Geico and the amount in there. Now, what else did I say I had going on? Um, oh, I'm going to be going to my friends on 
the 15th and I might be seeing my brother these days. I don't know that I want to mark that yet, but hmm. I don't know. Oh, I didn't do habit trackers. That's weird. Oh, well, I have the, the weekly habit tracker. We'll live with that. Um, let's see, what did I do with all of this stuff? Because I have a bunch of icons. I don't know if you guys can even see these. They're so bright. I'm not flying this week. I'm just driving. So... I don't think I have a driving icon. I think I used them all if I had them. Because I think I was traveling the week that I used this last year as well. Whoopsies. Um, okay, there's a heart that's really cute. And I'm seeing my roommate from college, so that seems appropriate. Um, and I can write it in the half box that's right here, so maybe I'll just stick the heart in the corner. And then maybe I'll put another one on this day just to mark the same thing because I'll be with her all weekend. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna put it in that corner so it's kind of like start, end. I might actually be traveling on the 15th, I don't know yet because I don't know if I'm seeing my brother Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I mean, Wednesday, Thursday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I do not know. My brother is hard to pin down. <laughs> um, okay. I don't have a habit tracker over here for, um, like, water and stuff like that. Um, normally, I do water and reading and skincare. Um, but for the reading, I think I might take this little stack of books um, and then I'll just write which book I was reading in there. It might be kind of cute. And I can actually put steps and water on here, or I can put dinners on here, and then steps and water, like, in these blank spaces, around the half boxes. Um, hmm, so maybe I'll mark dinners. Maybe I'll do that. I'll use the icon for dinner. Can't get it off. <laughs> Did I have another one? Mm, these are really hard to see, so maybe I'll just do... I'm going to move this one up to be up in this corner. Again, I can mark the book. And then, no, maybe I will do that other one. And then we have this light, light, light green with like a fork, a knife, and a spoon on it. And I can put that over here. I'll write dinners. And then I can write my dinners down the side. Um, okay, I have things like coffee, laundry, groceries, that kind of thing, um, with, again, more flags and stuff, but I think I'm going to stop there. Um, I also have a whole bunch of labels, which would be really handy, um, and I'll probably use those on these days with um, seeing my niece, um, but I just don't know what we're doing yet, so um, I'm just, I think I'm just going to stop. So that was my kit from Beyond Paper Flowers with the addition of some other things, um, but not too much, and I'll give you guys an overview. I think it turned out really, really cute. Oops, I got like stickers. Oh, that was the empty. Um, 
I think it turned out really, really cute and very functional and still very decorative. And again, I have a lot of those labels and things to put in this kind of area um, for whenever we figure out what we're doing, going to do, or I can make more washi flags. So let me know if you guys liked this budget plan with me. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, feel free to comment and subscribe. And then again, I will have the shop listed down below for the... Um, the base kit, the Beyond Paper Flowers kit. Um, so again, this was the Recollections Planner. I guess I can link that down below as well. Um, you can get them at Michael's and like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for joining me. Bye.